when we spoke about this privately, you talked about some of the things that when the lights went out, that people suffered. I know you mentioned um, a young boy freezing to death, other people freezing to death. Can you paint the picture of what it is when lights go out for people for days in the freezing cold weather? Well, what it is and what it was for people whose oxygen machines run on electricity, it meant death or extreme illness because those machines couldn't work. What it means is if you have electric stove, you can't even purify the snow by boiling the snow into water. It means that the pumps that pump the water into your faucet don't work. It means that everything shuts down and you're helpless. It also means that you can't call for help because the telephone lines are down. You're stranded, you're abandoned, you're alone, and you have no help. The uh, mayor of Colorado City, Texas, got on the air and said to his constituents, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. Don't ask government to give you what you want. We believe in government that's small enough that you could put it in a thimble and throw it in the ocean. Hmm. He did have to resign because people can appreciate <laughs> that message. They don't, they're, they, yeah, but the Texans, I mean, I'm sorry, but Texas is a, is a state where they do appreciate that message when it's convenient for them. But yes, they're not it appreciating convenient. it once they see the failure of deregulation. I think this is actually, I don't want anyone to suffer. But I think yeah. people need to see what a failed state looks like. And I mean failed state in the, you know, the broader sense of the term, not just failed state of Texas. Um, as they continue, I wonder if people will continue to say, oh, deregulation, good idea. You know, in these places where they have come face to face with what it is to have a deregulated yeah, electrical market, heat, heating market. I think that's so right. I think starting in the 1980s, Reagan started saying that your problems aren't caused by the corporations who happen to be bilking you, which he didn't mention. They're by big government. And what he was counteracting is big government was the best friend people ever had. The New Deal was big government. And it was FDR was the most popular president in U.S. history because big government created jobs when they had a depression, which we haven't done. He said, if the private market won't hire you, I will. And he started the Civilian Conservation Corps and the WPA making artistic things for people and the um, building roads and dams and providing government sponsored electricity, you know, all of those things. And he was very popular. So they had to counteract that. And there's been a big propaganda that your problem is the government when actually the government serves corporations and not you. And the Texas governments signed on to ERCOT and signed on to a company that could be bribed to allow the energy companies to save money while they risked lives. The right to life is very important. And if the right to profit exceeds the right to life, people are in desperate trouble. 